A rather misleading feature was recently added to Microsoft Teams, and depending on your intentions, it could land you in hot water. Now, if you've clicked into the menu in Teams where you can set your status, you may have noticed a new menu option that reads duration. And when you click into the duration submenu, you can see here that you can seemingly now set a duration for your Microsoft Teams status. Now, some of you might be thinking, great, I'm going to set my status to available for a week and then I'm going to head out and hit up a beach. Well, if you are planning on doing that, you may want to think twice. Here's why. Teams automatically determines your status based on your activity in Teams and your calendar. For example, when you join a meeting, you may have noticed that Teams automatically sets your status to busy in a meeting. Or when you're sharing your screen, you may have noticed that Teams automatically sets your status to do not disturb presenting. Now, in addition to this, and what most people don't know is that Teams has a hierarchy of availability programmed right into it that orders statuses from most available to least available. And here's the kicker. While you can manually override the automatically calculated status in Teams, you can only change your status to one that is less available than the automatically determined status. Now, if you don't believe me, you can see here that I've brought up two instances of Microsoft Teams. On the left-hand side, I'm logged into Teams via the desktop app with my account. And on the right-hand side, I'm logged in via the web, impersonating my colleague Diego. Now you can see here that I'm clicking on my account manager and I'm going to set my status to available. And then I'm going to set the duration to two hours. Now I'll go ahead and click done. Next, what I'll do is go ahead and join a meeting. Now you can see here I'm about to join this meeting and I want you to pay attention to my status on the right hand side of the screen here. Now you can see here that I've joined the meeting and that my status automatically updated to busy. And if I actually hover over my profile picture to view the status details, you can see here the status is set to busy in a call. Now to tie this all up, if you're planning to use the duration feature, what this all means is that you will not be able to set your status to one that is highly available and have it override the automatically determined status, even if you set a duration. So you want to make sure that you keep in mind that the duration feature is not going to override the automatically determined statuses in Teams. Now, as per Microsoft, a good use case for the duration feature is if you are planning on doing some independent work and you do not want to be disturbed for a fixed period of time, you could set your status to do not disturb and set that duration for an hour. This way your status will automatically update once that hour has lapsed. This eliminates the scenario where perhaps you set your status to do not disturb and you forget to change it and perhaps miss out on some important notifications in Teams. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, you may also want to download my list of the top free Microsoft Teams apps. I've included a link where you can download that list for free in the description of this video below, or you can just click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen. See you in the next video.